welcome to tonight's video recap. We hope you enjoy everything that we're bringing to you tonight. And next to greet the judge in this the Brown Sawdust World Cup qualifier, this is Tom McDermott. And Tom is riding Elegance de la Chamille. Number five in the draw. And the first have a couple to go to jump that first fence clean. And I'm sure I don't have to tell you. Clean round, Tom McDermott, Elegant, De La Chamille, and a time of 75.53, so well and truly within the time. And we have our first of, we hope, many clean rounds. The clock stops at 78.45 for Tyrone VDL. James Harvey, that's a super clean round. Next to go, we have the little horse by the name of De Priest and Russell Johnson. Russell and Priest have had a couple of wins down in Adelaide in the World Cups down there. An imported horse. And uh, Russell represented Australia at the Atlanta Olympics.
He smiles at the judge. He said, look at that, 77.92. Right. And that's the one Jamie wanted. That's a, a clean round. 78.90. That uh, gives Jamie half a qualifier, and that's um, one of the reasons he's down here. Yes, Mum, he's happy. Got great sponsors in Foresight, and, and they've sort of put us on a really good program to maintain and manage our horses. Uh, just their joints and, and everything, it, it's been fantastic, and, and we've had great results. And our horses are feeling good every time they go out to jump, and it's just been amazing. So, we can't thank them enough for what they've done. Um, so, I've been using Inter Interpath Foresight. Um, I started, I heard about it um, about a year ago now and I thought oh well I'll just give it a try and I had Oaks Cosmo on it for about a week and I was training at home and he just felt amazing. He was like just travelling so freely and he was jumping the jumps and really loosening up in his back end and he just felt amazing. I went oh wow like this product really works so um, I've got them all on it now and it's really really easy to use. I just give them a little um, bit of sort of jelly paste in a um, syringe each night that they actually really like um, so it's really good because they give it to them every day so it's sort of a constant um, rebuild for their joints and um, it's really good preventative for the young horses um, just make sure any de little damage is repaired and um, with the older horses it really really helps repair and Cosmo has just been jumping amazing ever since he's been on it he just feels great. So here we have Tom McDermott. Of course, this rounds against the clock. Dimensions here are a metre fifty. That fence is a metre sixty. The course built by Gavin Chester. And a wonderful scopey jump over the last fence. Oops, no we don't. We've got James Harvey on Tyrone VDL. Of course VDL, very well known stud in Holland. This horse achieved an MER at Adelaide show.
So clear round in the first round, a time of 78. James giving this young horse a longer approach to that metre 60 straight fence. At this stage, I'm sure he wants to build a Grand Prix horse with confidence. Beautifully over the last fence. A clear round, James Harvey. Position, James Harvey on Tyrone VDL in second, Tom McDermott on Elegance to Shamil in third, Chris Chug, P.S. Levinsky in fourth, Kate Hinchin, Fitch Farm Cadell in fifth, followed by Billy Raymond and Anton, and Billy Raymond and Annie Oso Z. So Dupree's certainly not the biggest horse in the field, but really athletic, careful horse, ridden expertly by Russell, of course. Former Atlanta Olympian. Lovely to see Russell in his red coat. The very traditional colour for show jumpers that you don't tend to see so much anymore. Let's see how tight Russell does this turn. Beautiful. Looking good. And super. And the time stops at sixty-two point uh, sixty-two point two five. <laughs> put some really good performances on the board prior to WEG. This is a really scopy horse, an Australian bred horse. Oak Stud, of course, producing some really top class international jumpers from their base in Sydney. Pretty tight angle over that. Looks like he's going for the points. So even though he's not travelling across the ground all that quickly, he's turned inside that tree. Very sharp onto that. Time ticking at 44 seconds. at 58.94 seconds, all clear for Jamie Kermond and Yandu Oaks Constellation. Thank you for watching tonight's video recap with Equestrian Life. We'll see you next time.